Hi everyone, Pyramid Intel. Lately I've noticed some headlines saying things like, is there a 3D and 5D timeline split happening right now? Well, I don't know, but it certainly seems like it sometimes because as you have light code activations and your perceptions of everything start to change, you know, you're activating parts of your brain and you're perceiving things differently. So your whole concepts of life and everything that you're doing and everyone around you, you're not going to see anything the same way. And because of that, you're going to change. You're not the same person. And a lot of the people are looking at you thinking that you are not the same person that they used to know at all. And that that would be true. If you were to put me next to someone who knew me a really long time ago, they may not recognize me at all. I, I realize that. And in some ways, I don't recognize myself. And in some ways, I recognize myself more than ever, if that makes sense. Because one thing that the DNA activations will do is help you see yourself and understand yourself as well as everything around you clearer than ever before. So while you don't recognize yourself because you're changing so much and you're different, at the same time you realize that the reason you're changing now is because you're seeing yourself and, and everything around you clearer than ever before. So you are more yourself than ever, if that makes sense. So what I've noticed and what I think that the timeline split, or at least the idea of the split is relevant right now is because you have the people that are expanding and growing and awakening and having the activations and then you have the people that are not or perhaps they're having very little they're going very slowly and the difference between the two it's pretty profound we have oddly enough become such a polarized society anyway but in my opinion for very often silly and superficial reasons, what appear to be orchestrated reasons. I mean, they're important and everything, but the way it all happened and the way we treated each other just for having differing opinions seemed a little over the top, seemed a little exaggerated, you know, and, um, and unhealthy. And now, as we expand and we see things in a new way, it almost seems like you can't relate to it at all or you can't believe you're ever even a part of it or you can't believe that we grew up next to these people. It's just the changes are really profound. And I can only speak for myself, but uh, I recognize it by looking around me at other people that are going through similar situations. It's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, to stay in situations and relationships where someone is so incredibly different from you. And I think a lot of people are ending up looking around and jobs and relationships and family and different things like that and just it's unbearable and you're seeing a lot of things blowing apart right now because of that probably see a lot of relationships, business and personal that are just flying apart. And let it fly because that's what it's supposed to do. You can't change and grow and not change and grow. You know, it doesn't work that way. And if you try to hold yourself within uh, something that isn't right for you, we know that doing that will give you a heart attack. Like the guy who works too much and he just ignores all the signs and puts his head down and continues to push, push, push. They end up having a heart attack young and dying, right? In many cases. Well, that's the, that's kind of where we are now. If you don't, the, the, the surge of energetics is so intense that if you don't go with the flow and you try to dig in and resist and hold on, you're going to get blown out mentally, physically, spiritually. Nothing good is going to come of that. You know, um, and you're still going to go 
where you, this is a huge universal force of energy and you're still going to get moved one way or the other to where you, you know you're supposed to go but you can go there gracefully and painlessly or you know you, you can get beat up and dragged so it sounds dramatic but it really is that dramatic i believe so you really if you are in the wrong situation for you you're doing yourself and everyone around you a favor by letting go and going where you need to be letting go and going letting everything you know your truth your reality your frequency band carry you into a better place um, you're not being selfish you are fulfilling your destiny and your truth and allowing the other people they're not less than they're not you know it's not like that it's not like oh I think you know less of you so I'm going over here no it's just a matter of harmony harmonics you know if if everyone's gonna suffer why would you want to continue to hold try to hold something together that is not resonating in harmony if you're not resonating in harmony your nails on a chalkboard you know who wants to live like that that's uh it, it won't work it just won't work so it's becoming more pronounced because while we've always had our differences um now they are becoming really profound and whether or not we will actually split off physically which i think is really the big question everyone wants to know how this is going to go down you do know that you cannot have two completely different frequency bands inside the same space you know it's sort of like you have two radio stations and they have to be on separate when they're completely different radio stations they they're on separate bands right and whenever they come together and they overlap a little bit and you know you're like you're driving down the road and you have two overlapping it's it's very annoying <laughs> This is exactly what it's like. Everything in life is simple and it overlaps and they're the same, you know, and it can be explained in the same way. That's what I have found. Life is actually, we've made it so complicated, it's really not. And that's how it is. And when we have two separate ones overlapping, it, it's, it's uh, you can do it for a little while and then you can tell yourself it's okay even when it's not. And then after a while, you know, you start to get really effing irritated. And if you don't, if you don't make a change, you will totally lose your mind. I am convinced that if you were to listen to two overlapping frequencies for a long period of time, you would have some kind of brain damage. <laughs> You'd have a mental breakdown or you would hurt someone. I mean, it literally will grate on your central nervous system so it, make, it would make you crazy. You know, and it's like, you know, you're listening, you're listening, and you're putting up with it because they're playing your favorite song somewhere underneath all of the chaos. You can hear your favorite song and, you're, and then you're like, ah, and you just turn it off, right? Or you change the station and you're like, ah, oh, right. So that's kind of, that's that's where we are. And um, yeah, you're gonna have people, if it continues to be that way, this group over here is, you know, moving away farther and farther. And this one is staying the same. You're gonna have someone in this band with all the changes, they're probably gonna go in the other direction. Some will stay where they are and some will kind of chill behind. But the separation's gonna get bigger and bigger. How will you have two opposing such opposing frequency bands existing in the same space that's a really good question and i don't have the answer you know if i come up with something i'll let you know but that is what's happening and um you can't stop it and you shouldn't want to stop it it's not healthy for you it's not healthy for anyone around you so say a prayer for everyone because this isn't easy on anyone it's not easy any of it we're all suddenly thrust into all of these changes and we have to you know make the right decision so my advice on all this i've thought about it a lot of course and it's uh that's a good thing about being by yourself by the way and i talk about it a lot it's so great to have loving people around you families relationships if they're healthy and you know it's, it's wonderful but if you don't that's a gift too because this is a really difficult ride and it takes a lot of self-examination to try to you know be authentic do the right thing for you to sort through you know everything that you are and everything you want to be and all the mistakes that you've made in the past and you know pay attention to the details so you can move forward in a healthy authentic way it's a lot easier to do that when you're by yourself much easier 
So I do know it's a gift. I have a lot of time to think a lot more than my friends who are married and have kids and they have you know more responsibilities. So that's one of the reasons I make videos. Just take care of yourself. Just take care of yourself, guys. Be really kind. And uh, you know, it, you probably noticed that we are not in the same spot. Your you know, ears are ringing, your bodies are different. When everything around you is vibrating higher, you know, you have, and you're in that frequency band. I've talked about this a little bit before, but it seems relevant to bring it up one more time right now. Everything is vibrating faster. You're vibrating faster. You know, everything feels different. So this puts a lot of people on edge, grades on your central nervous system. You're, you're transitioning. Your, your needs of your body are not going to be the same. You have to drink a lot of water because you have a lot of electricity flowing through you, you know, and it will blow you out if you don't have the wiring, if you can't support it. It's like sticking your finger in an electric socket. It wouldn't shock you if you were accustomed to holding that amount of electricity, right? So I'm not saying you wanna have a wet finger when you touch the socket. That's not what I'm saying, okay? Just the kids out there. but you know, uh, to integrate all the new ideas and concepts and for all this growth and expansion and all these exciting things that we're doing and, and we, we can ride this wave of energy and use it to, to create amazing new things for ourselves. Um, if you don't take care of yourself and eat right, eat healthier and cleaner and drink more water and all of that stuff, then it can have the opposite effect and it can be detrimental to your body and blow you out. So um, this I've been on here for 12 minutes now. That's pretty long. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I'll go into how to take care of your body on the next video because that's really important too. Your cellular structure is changing and so you'll have to take that into consideration and treat your body differently in order to be well adjusted and healthy and going forward. Okay, so I hope you're having a great night and I'll talk to you later, bye. <sighs> My remote doesn't seem to be working. Come on, when you can do this.